12 things in the Swedish Fika that are so yum e. Today is number three and we're having kanelbullar or as known in English, cinnamon buns. So to start off this recipe, we'll be making the dough and for that you'll need 50 grams of yeast, 150 gram of butter and five deciliter milk. The first step would be to melt your butter and then add your milk on top of it and swirl it around. Go ahead and add your milk and butter to your mixer and once that's done, add your yeast on top of that and mix it for a little bit. Now you'll need to prepare 14 deciliter flour, 2 teaspoon cardamom, 1 deciliter sugar and 1 teaspoon salt. One ingredient at a time, add your flour, your sugar, your cardamom and your salt. As usual, I'll be using sea salt. You know, I would probably say that the cinnamon bun is one of the mostly wide-known Swedish fikas. When I used to live in the US, I would find these in the supermarket in like ready cans. All you had to do was open the can and put them in the oven and there you would have them. Although one big difference is that in the US, they use glaze on top of their cinnamon buns. We do not do that in Sweden. I'm gonna go ahead and add my flour one tablespoon at a time. Go ahead and mix it until you have a nice consistency. You want it to be firm and nice, but you don't want it to be sticky, right? So when you take it out of the bowl and you feel it, nothing should be stuck on your fingers. You're then gonna put it back in your bowl and you're gonna let it rest for about 30 minutes. While we wait, we're gonna go ahead and make the mixture that we'll be adding into our dough later on. You'll be needing 250 grams of butter, one and a half deciliter sugar, two tablespoons cinnamon, and two tablespoons vanilla sugar. And then you're gonna go ahead and mix that, mix it real, real nice until it's smooth and gooey and yummy. Go ahead and put your filling to the side. We're gonna roll out our dough. Don't forget to put some flour on your workplace so it doesn't get sticky. Put your dough and then go ahead and start rolling it. Ultimately here, you're going for the shape of a rectangle. It doesn't have to be exactly a rectangle, but something like that because we'll be fo folding it later. Go ahead and put your filling on your dough and then spread it all over. Once you've spread it everywhere, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and fold it into a th three part. I guess it's called a three part, just like that. Don't worry if it looks like that at the top, you can go ahead and play with the dough so it covers it all. Then you're gonna go ahead and start cutting it into pieces. What I usually do is I cut it in the middle, then I cut out the side pieces and then I go ahead and cut it in the middle again and then the middle again. That way I have approximately even pieces. Once you're done with the cutting, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one piece and kind of like drag it out a bit so it becomes a bit longer and then you're gonna go ahead and roll it around your fingers so it becomes kind of like a knot almost. When you've knotted all of your dough, you're gonna go ahead and cover it and let it sit for another 30 minutes for it to rest. 30 minutes later, you can go ahead and Open it up, go ahead and brush it with an egg. And then we have something here in Sweden called pearl sugar. It's like these little sugar pearls that you can just put on top of your baked goods and it's so, so good. 
Next step would be to put your tray into the oven that's preheated to 225 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes. Keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn because you don't want it to burn, but you do want it to be this golden yummy brown. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate you. If you want to, go ahead and follow so you don't miss the next Swedish Fika. Love you!